What's up guys, Spin Firearms here and today we're going to talk about pocket carry. I pocket carry about 50-60 hours per week while working and there's a reason for it. I can't carry something here, can't carry something here, it impedes my ability to do work, it's uncomfortable, um, causes rashes and so on. So I found pocket carrying is what works. Don't listen to other people, don't listen to hype, do what works for you in that situation. That's what everyday carry is about. If it's uncomfortable or it doesn't work out for you, find a different way. There's plenty of ways to carry, to stay armed 24-7. Um, and feel comfortable all day long. Now, my old pocket holster has worn down after about a year of use from all the wood shavings, the dirt, the grit, the primer, the glue, the pipe shavings that just end up in your pocket. It wore down on the trigger guard portion where the retention is on my frame as well as the holster and made it so it no longer works. They no longer, there's no longer retention, it no longer stays on. About five to six times now, I've found that pocket holster randomly floating around my pocket, which is sketchy. One wrong move, it could have hit the trigger and it'd be a disaster. So I switched over to something that does not have those issues and can have those issues. Regardless how bad the retention ever gets on this, it can never find its way in the trigger guard. And that just is what it is. It's impossible. So it may print more, it may be bigger, may have more material on it, but at least I know it's safe. So I'll explain why I do it outside of work. I carry a main carry appendix or outside the waistband on the hip as long as it's concealed still. And let's say someone walks up to you and, you know, they got a firearm on you. They draw down. Self-defense is about being on defense. It's about exploiting certain situations, movements that the other person makes to try and get your draw. Because you're always playing defense. You're always behind. And that's just how it's going to be. It's going to, how it's always going to be. We're not the criminals. So the reason I do it, let's say someone's like, give me everything in your pockets. Give me your money. Give me your phone, blah, 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 right? Let's say they shake you down. They're like, okay, he's got a firearm here. They take your main carrier. They check you here. They do one of these. We all know what that is. They grab your firearm, now they think you don't have one. Most people don't think you have two. Most people don't think you have one in your pocket. That's just life. If you walk down the street and say, hey, what do you think, where do you think I'm carrying right now? They're gonna guess somewhere on your waistband, right? They're not gonna say pocket. That's not gonna be their first guess. So this is your first advantage that you have. You also have the advantage of playing dumb, saying, okay, I'm gonna get the stuff. I'll give you my wallet, I'll give you my phone, and now you're on target. See how quick that was, how easy? You just have to practice with the different pants you wear and the different pocket holsters so you make sure you realize how to work it so it does latch, especially with sweatpants. Jeans, it's much easier, but with sweatpants, you can have a hard time getting it to latch, but I've practiced to the point where I'm perfect with it, I'm flawless with it, and it's fast. That was pretty fast. Not the fastest draw I have because I'm obviously pulling from here instead of here. On top of that, when you do do that draw, right, you can already let off shots here. You can let off shots here, 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 here until you're extended. You don't even have to get extended. You probably won't even have the space. So it's gonna be boom, so that's quick. Think about where I drew to, right? And then I'm on time. You can go here so fast and just go boom, 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 let off shots. Keep your thumb out, make sure that slide doesn't hit your body, and just make sure you're lined up and you're gonna hit shots. You wanna aim for this region right here, and that right here, and then while you, because that way you're aimed down, you know you're gonna hit them, you know you're lined up with them, you don't want to start aiming up here yet. This is so, just you get your quickest shot and you make sure it's on target, then you can work up to the A zone, right? And that's the number one reason why pocket carry. It's, it can be fast if you practice. You're going from here to here, here to here, or here to here, right? You can even shoot from here. Keep that thumb out so it's not hitting your body, so it doesn't malfunction, so it doesn't hurt you. Um, keep that thumb pressed right here, and you'll be golden, I'm telling you. But keep in mind, this only works if you have, you're in the position where it works. Like I said, that first firearm's almost like um, it tricks them, right? You, you Be easy about giving up. Just be like, okay, I have a firearm right here, take it, right? That gives them the false sense that you don't have any more firearms on you. That's the number one reason why I backup carry. Also, if you're on the ground fighting, sometimes when you draw that first firearm, you lose it. You're grappling. You know, if he's within arm's length and I draw, you know, he may grab it or it may fling or he may tackle me, then I gotta get off me and gun out the pocket, right? It's just an awesome way to carry that most people aren't expecting you to carry. Now, I do what works for me. You may say, oh, this is stupid. That's fine. I've been in these situations before. Um, I, I get how they work. And a lot of times you can find that little loophole, that little amount of time where they, you know, look around or they say they're just calm because they got your firearm. They're like, okay, um, just empty it in your pocket. Give, give me what's yours and they're holding right here. You know, from the hip is going to be so fast. It's going to be faster than drawing up here. Most people just practice shooting from here. You guys, you gotta practice shooting from here. Your, your range may not like it. It looks funky, it feels weird. 
even shooting here, it feels so funky. You get this little chicken wing going. It feels so funky. It feels so out of control, so weird. But what you'll realize is your body can handle recoil. You're thinking that, oh, this is going to hurt. There's going to be no real coil, recoil control. The way your body's tense and the way your arms are, this thing holds recoil just like you're out here. And same with right here. You use your body. You use this little chicken wing that's holding that firearm. You'll have no issues. Also from the hip. Now, that's why I do it. Other people pocket carry for different reasons. The number one reason I do it for situations I'm in such as work where it makes sense to get throughout the day and still stay armed. But also for a backup, for an unexpected surprise, for if my main firearm is out of the fight because I'm being robbed or I'm in a mad grappling match with someone and my main firearm's just gone. You know, and we're fighting for our lives, we're struggling to get it. Now I have a backup that's they're not gonna expect. They might go after that one and you got that one. So like I said, just think, make sure think about these scenarios, practice them and make sure that you can only draw when it makes sense. Don't draw if they're sitting here like this. Give me everything in your pockets. But chances are you already handed them your firearm. They're going to tuck it in their pocket. They're going to take some time to, you know, put it in their pocket or tuck it in their waistband. That's an ideal time to draw. Or, you know, they may take that other firearm and they're holding both of them. But now they're, they're more at ease. You don't have one. They're thinking you don't have one. And they're, okay, now they're thinking you're reaching for your wallet and your phone. It's quick. You just gotta practice though. I practice pocket carry draws. Not as much as I should. I used to do it almost every day before work. I do 10 reps or whatever. Now it's probably once a week, but I've gotten good enough to the point where I'm fast and I trust these pocket holsters. So that's pocket carry for me. That's why I do it. I hope you guys got something from this video. Hit the like button. I appreciate it.